digits. Triple digits. There's triple digits. And there's Marichal. Single digits. <laughs> <laughs> Back to our stupid directions, it's Corbin. He is a marathon. Yeah, you yeah. follow Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter has more juicy content. content. Thank you, Rose, for some Patreon. Uh, follow us for his Twitter account, ring the bell. Yeah. Today, we're doing a movie review. <laughs> Welcome back to horror. Well, Halloween horror spooky ish month. Yeah, uh, if, you, if you're month. new here, uh, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Obviously, not everybody watches every video, as we know. Uh, we've watched a Marathi. Horror film. We've no. watched an Assamese. We've watched two Hindi ones. No. We've watched a Tamil one. No, everyone knows we only watch Hindi movies. Yeah. <laughs> so one comment on on la last week's of uh, I think it was Phobia, and they were like, "Are you only gonna watch Hindi?" I was like, "We literally started with <laughs> we've watched more non Hindi." Man, shut up. You know it's true. We do have. But our... today we watched a Hindi horror. We do, <laughs> we do have our stupid reactions, but we do have a lot of stupid babies. Stupid babies. Yeah, yeah. But that are. By the literal definition. Literal definition. Um, but yes, we're watching from all regions. Well, all. Many, not all regions, but we're trying to get to as many regions as we can. As many as we can. Um, but yes, we watched the 1992 film Rat. Yes, not your, to be confused you have to with roll the your R's. 1980s band Rat. You big fan of Rat? No, but the song You Spin Me Right Round, Baby Right Round. That they music, one hit wonder? What, that was their one hit wonder. But I remember the music video, like... There were four or five moments in my teenage pubescent years where some dudes were like really causing me to wonder what was going on with me sexually. Because <laughs> the lead singer to Rat singing, you spin me right round, baby, right round, and the way he sang, ah, I know you know your name now, baby. You look like you love me. You look like you're lots of fun. I was like, I do? I love you. Open up your loving arms. Watch out. Here I come. Love like, is wow. love, Rick. Love is Him, love. Boy George, and then, of course, nobody will ever touch Ricky Martin. Yeah. I would actually be weirded out if I had... If, well, the A lot day of people comes, probably touched Ricky the Martin. The day I would meet Ricky Martin, I would be really feeling very awkward because he's gorgeous. He is. He's gorgeous. And he's got such great charisma. Uh, but anyways, it's the 1992 Hindi film, Rap, Rap, uh, directed by... Ram Gopal Varma, who we've seen, I think it's two of those films. It's Gaon and um, uh, Satya, yeah. correct? Yes. Uh, and it's also written by him uh, as well, produced by him. Pre or post I think, Kaun? I think this is pre. Okay. I do believe. Because okay. I think Kaun was 95 ish. And it feels like it when you look at the two films, yeah. comparatively. It looks like Kaun was more experienced yeah. later on down the road. Um, but, and it's also starring. Uh, Ravathi, yeah, Ompori. Uh, say, Did you know that going in? I didn't. Me too. Which was cool to see. That was. I, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. Say this: Rohini Hatsangadi and, then, and Akash Kurana and a couple other people, but those are the main ones. Yeah. Uh, but it's a 1992 just horror. I think it's a cult classic, really. I think is what yes. it's been described as. Yes. Uh, but Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well, I don't want to disrupt the people who love the cult classics because there'd be probably many of you who, when you watched the Rocky Horror Picture Show, might not like it. Mm. Uh, I didn't like it. Mm. Sorry, everybody. Um, I, there's only one thing I liked. <laughs> the fact that Ohm Puri came in in the end, I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Other than that, and I really did take into consideration time frame, when we're seeing it, all of those other things, I just didn't, I, I never, none of the performances were anything. I, I just kept taking notes with the performances in terms of the acting and the story-wise. I just was never interested. It, it just, I was kind of waiting for it to end because I wasn't enjoying it. Hmm. So. No, I actually enjoyed it. Uh, it. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I'm not saying that. Um, and there are some performance issues, but I, for 1992, I, I kind of, it, and it's not the entire time, but there were some performance issues that I totally agree with you that, that were, they were there. Yeah, and just, the middle, part, the middle, even get to the end, the middle part definitely dragged some. Absolutely. I loved, I actually really, really enjoyed the ending when it really started to get really weird, um, at the end. Um, but, uh, yeah. And I know it was campy and weird. It was supposed to be campy and weird. I actually, like blue light flying away. I, I get it. I actually enjoyed this more than I enjoyed gown. Oh, and I, wow, and I, not me. And I enjoyed, I think Satya's in a different league of both of them. Oh, pfft, no uh, Obviously. No, I would, I would, see, I would watch Count again. Count again. You watch this one? I would watch, I would watch Count again, but I, I, I actually enjoyed this one more than I enjoyed Count. Wow. Um, but that's no, fine. You, you don't must have been it. smoking good weed watching this one. <laughs> no, I actually, I just enjoyed uh, a lot of the, the suspense, because 
I give it a lot of grace in terms of, but it started out uh, with a lot of suspense and, and kind of building up to what exactly is going on. Is it a is it a ghost? Is it a demon? Is it a spirit? Is it a blah, 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 whatever it is. Uh, and I, I think if it was made now, it'd probably be more like an hour and a half. But probably. for 1992, a two hour film, I was, that was the 90 minute runtime for that yeah. day and age. Yeah. Uh, so it was kind of already probably short for that day and age yeah. for not having a song in it as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the, the biggest thing is it, it definitely in the middle, it dragged a little bit in terms of it kind of just re kept repeating itself uh, of like, all right, here's something creepy that happens. Somebody turns around, blah, 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 uh, all that. But I, I did really enjoy, I loved Om Pori, like you said. I yeah. thought he, he, you could kind of tell when, it's happened in a couple films when like you're watching a certain level of film and then a legend comes on screen it kind totally of happens changes with the temperature the deborah film yeah and even though we love the deborah film and it's all great but when you bring the shot and shot we knew it we didn't of, even know him at the time it kind of just brings up the it changes the whole thing <laughs> the acting of it a little it's bit so right true. um but yeah so let's let's talk so you see what, what were your your main kind of issues that you had um, I just, I found the story to be less than engaging. It was like, okay, we're doing scary things, but I don't see any kind of a link between any of these things. Hmm. Um, we're doing scary things just to kind of be scary, I guess. Uh, I, I, even from like, sometimes her eyes were discolored, sometimes they weren't, to a lot of the acting things were, <laughs> I tried to put it in the category of like DDLJ, like, well, I put it in the category of count. You know, even Manoj, and that was was over yeah, the top. Yeah, but but that had a that had a symmetry to it at least. Mm. That that had, I felt. I think this had more ground in it than count. I don't think it had. What? Well, Not all the time. No, as far as the acting is concerned, I would agree. As far as the grounding, yeah. But that doesn't make up for it just not being good acting. Mm. Um, it just seemed like everybody was either very inexperienced or came across as inexperienced as far as the performances were concerned. I didn't find anything to, to definitively engaging in the dialogue or the script. I didn't find anything particularly interesting in the characters that made me care enough about them. Mm. And I didn't find anything particularly, I saw the attempt for things to be scary, but it nothing for me ever made sense other than we're gonna try to be scary. Well, what didn't make sense for you? A lot of things. Um, even with the way it ended at the at the end, mm. it just was. Throughout, we have the sound of the whispering, breathing thing in the window across the street, watching. We have the cat returning from the dead. We have um, sounds happening that people see, and then maybe they see something in the corner, and then they don't see that in the corner. And then she has a dream. Is she dreaming? Maybe she's not dreaming. And I was trying to, you know, if you watch, if you watch the first Nightmare on Elm Street, it's. Well, I laughed when we first saw it the first time anyway. But if you go back and look at it, it's pretty bad. Hmm. Um, and I was consistently trying to just give it grace. And I just couldn't stop thinking to myself, this just isn't a really good movie at all. I'm, not, hmm. I'm just not liking this as a film. I just don't think it's hmm. a good movie. Gotcha. That's all. No, yeah, I, I actually, the, the parts that you talked about, I didn't think there was anything that was quite confusing. I thought they, he was trying to do stuff, which for 1992 I thought was... Really, especially for Indian cinema, that hasn't really explored the horror genre almost at all. Yeah. This was one of the first ones. It wouldn't surprise me if you saw The Exorcist, because there yeah. were some things he saw her doing that I thought, okay, we're trying to emulate what Linda Blair did, and I don't think it was trying to be just a copy. No, I think it was I actually inspired. Think it took inspiration yeah, from I The do. Exorcist, and I think it took inspiration from Nightmare on Elm Street. I think it did take Nightmare on Elm Street inspiration. Uh, uh, I, of which it's clear that the, Johnny Depp's first film. If you yeah, know. it's true. <laughs> I, it's clear. That's why I, this isn't one of those things where I would just go off and say this is awful, awful, mm. awful. It was awful in terms of I didn't enjoy it, mm. but like for you saying you enjoy it, I enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. I don't. Okay, that's I'm glad. That's yeah. it's one of those I'm glad you enjoyed I, it. Versus like if we were talking about Boyhood, oh, okay. if you said you enjoyed it, I'd be no, fighting you. No, you know no, what I mean? No, 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 this no. one is one of those. I if it floats your boat, that's cool. But for me, I just was. I it think didn't grab me. I all. did give it a lot of grace for for the time it came out, just like I did Count. It's a very different film because I think Count is a lot more campy uh, of a film. Consistently uh, campy. Consi right. Yeah. Um, but I thought he, Ram Govavarma did a lot of stuff. He did a lot of steady cam stuff, which was uh, pretty new for India at that time uh, in terms of uh, him exploring that. I think he, because um, he did a lot. I think the opening shot was all steady cam, right? 
it was really interesting in 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 this, right? In this, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one of the things I will say, which is why you you it's, I feel bad when I say I don't like a film when it's obvious there was a lot of effort put into it. So for oh, yeah, example, you can talk about different parts. That opening, like... the opening shot in the town when she gets off the bus. Yeah. It was a really cool transition that I know they wanted it to be as smooth as possible, but it went from a walking shot mm -hmm. to what I think was them getting in a cart and pushing it because it kind of bounced a little bit yeah. so that they could move quickly and get to the next thing and time it as the bus came up. Mm -hmm. And that's, for the day, commendable. The, yeah. the attempt for that is really commendable. Yeah. It, it just, there wasn't enough of those things to even give me something to say, this is worth watching for the technical aspects mm -hmm. of it. Um, I thought it was suspenseful enough around, like, once again, it's a 1992 film. I'm not saying it was a, a frightening affair, actually. Just when stuff happened, I was like, oh, that was cool. And I'm sure at the time, especially in Indian cinema, which a lot of them haven't... I would be very ...hadn't very seen different. a lot of this before. Sure. I, maybe if they had never seen The Exorcist or had right. never seen whatever. I mean, if you hadn't seen The Exorcist, whew. Uh, that film. Yeah, that... Yikes. I'll, my, my take on that one is don't... Um, <laughs> That's you'll, just, you'll be freaked that's though. That's my take, especially if you're offended by anything that's like if if it, yeah, it's it's. I will say this: it's well made. Yes, it is. It's a very well made film. But it's, yeah, it's, man, if you you know what the part's the biggest part for me in that. Well, you don't like demonic stuff. I know that. And and just that one moment with the crucifix. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's tough for me. I also watched the. Uh, Exorcism of Emily Rose as well. I want to see that actually. Yeah, it was, and I actually because of be, because of Indrani, I've become a better appreciator of horror. of the horror genre. Yeah. And even like we've watched some things recently that did include the demonic. If it's a Ouija board, forget it because I have personal experience with them and I don't want anything to do with uh -huh. it. But as long as it's not glorifying to the demonic, if it's yeah. depicting true stuff about the demonic, then I'm yeah. okay. Now yeah. I've yeah. really grown in that regard thanks to Which Indrani. It's something I, I right there. She's right behind the camera. Uh, if you didn't, uh, the the end part, which you know you can like or not like. Just Obviously, Ompori came in, and I enjoyed. Yeah, but I enjoyed the campiness, especially the uh, the Indiana Jones melting of your. And face. That was exactly what I thought of, <laughs> which I love. The Indiana Jones melting of the face, and obviously the the the, the dual split of her to show the duality for the, of for her. the time. It for was the time. It I was, get it. It was it was I, real I hold, fun. I hold nothing against it for that. In fact, I can appreciate the same way you can when you watch when you're watching Raiders of the Lost Ark and the faces start to melt. It's so obvious that it's it's such wax a, model. It's such an old school tactic. It is that that, but it's so fun to but, watch because it's like what that wouldn't happen. That's but not by, happen. So by like, that point for me. I was genuinely just looking at the time on the thing going, are, are we done? Because I'm fried at this point. I just mm. want this. I just wanted it to be over because I was not enjoying myself. Mm. So, um, But what you? Well, what about, uh, sorry, Ompori, I wanted to talk about Ompori because obviously he was definitely the strongest actor, of course, oh, in, the, in, in the entire thing. And he, and <laughs> well, only, funny enough, the only strong actor for me. Um, I thought, yeah, I, I definitely, I wouldn't say any of those actors were strong. I'd say some were good and some were good at times. Um, for the, I think that's probably the most part for most of them. Some were good at times. That's um, probably the best you can give it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think I, I knew that going into the horror month. We're not going to get a lot of amazing performances. No. At all. I don't no. think. Uh, for the most part, uh, outside of maybe newer ones like um, Bull Bull, we had some good performances in that one. Yeah. Uh, but that's newer. But if you, especially if you're going older horror, sure. I almost doubt we're going to get some amazing performance. But we got pretty close with um, um, Om Pori, he brings such a presence, just like Nasir and Shah, when we, when we, I think they were in that, uh, Vishal's, right? When they, they were playing. Um, yeah, they were playing the, 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 they were part of the three in the car. Yeah. Of the, uh, 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 the Othello one. Yeah. Um, no, Macbeth one, right? The, it was McBool. No, it was McBool. It was, was McBool, yeah. Um, but yeah, he brings such a weight to, to his character. And he also did talk much. He doesn't which, have to. Once again, if, you, if, you're, you're, if you're a great actor, like you just bring your presence, yeah. and it's just like... I, it was like a splash of cold water on my face. I, I was kind of just, at that point, glazed over, and when his face appeared, I went, yeah, what, oh, I became engaged immediately. Yeah. What was your opinion of the score? Because I thought at it was times good. it was really good. At times it was a little too over, um, but once again, for 1992, I just assumed. Yeah. But I think for the most part, I, I, it added to the suspense for me. It did. Uh, See, here's, that's the thing for me is like, there were times where I was appreciating the work. Yeah. I knew this wasn't just phoned in. I knew this, I knew a lot of attention was done to it. I could hear it. Mm -hmm. But 
it wasn't good enough for me to become engaged and enjoy it. Mm. So that's why it's hard. It's kind of like, it's, it's comparable to like going to, and this isn't always the case, but let's say if you go and you see somebody who knows play mm -hmm. and you really want to like it, but you just can't lie mm. because it, it just didn't live anywhere near to your expectations. And you're not going to tell people this suck, don't buy a ticket. Mm. You're not going to say that, but you have that sense of, I wanted to like this, but I just, I can't be disingenuous. Yeah. I see the effort. I see the work that was put in and I don't want to, and if someone likes it, that's great. More power to you, but for me, I just, I kind of just was bored most of the time. Mm. Yeah, I think if I was re, like, I think you could actually take the original version and cut some stuff off, and I think it could be an hour 30, hour 45, and oh, be a lot, sure. a lot more snappy, because I think that's one of the things that was missing in terms of the, especially the middle part, was they needed to stick to more of the um, spooky element, to because the, the longer you draw it out, uh, you're not going to be at, in suspense that whole time and so that, that takes away especially from this style of film obviously I'm sure like I said if it was made now I think they would have done that mm -hmm. just like bull bull was was it what an hour 30 right right around yeah about yeah because if, if these films are usually about that because you need to people keep people engaged and in suspense most of the time um, to keep them engaged in these and, style of stories and give me something that makes me go either what was that or why did that happen Versus for me, when a lot of the things took place, I was like, okay. Mm. Well, you got the end. I though, hope, right? well, yeah, yeah, I did. It was the mistress and she was- Correct. Was, yeah, she was the one yeah. who, yes, and she was the one that was possession and haunting. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. The, she was the, the one who, the murder. And I, get, I, I was waiting for that. But even with that explanation at the end, that did kind of tie up all of the loose ends. I wasn't throughout, wanting to know what's going on. I was more like, do we know what's going on? I don't even really care what's going on. Like, okay, she was in the movie theater and now there's nobody there. Okay, that's weird. But that one, it didn't scare me into, okay, so she, was that another dream? Was that, and then she has the dream and the hands are, you know, in the thing. And I'm, I just, I, it never was one of those things where something happens and I think, Huh, and I want to find out what's next. It was just these, almost felt like these non sequiturs, these little standalone moments of, did that scare you? Did that scare you? And I was, for whatever, for whatever the reason is, I just, it, I didn't enjoy it. I know, he's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> but I would actually, in terms of Ram Gopal Varma, as I would put it, More Satya, calm. Satya is like up There's here. There's no comparison. He's way up here. And then like, if, if Satya has one, this is, would be 10. And then I would put Cowan just at below a, just, this. Yeah, I, I'd watch wow. them both again. I enjoyed both. Interesting. But I would I would watch this one before I would watch Cowan. Yeah, well, no, it might also Cowan. be because Manoj annoyed me so much in that character. <laughs> yeah, no, I would watch. I would watch. I would watch Cowan again. Yeah, I figured you'd go. Yeah, the Satya Cowan, and then yeah, Satya. Count, Satya isn't even the same conversation no. as you know in the no, same I mean, conversation as these two. No, but I, as absolutely. and as it pertains to the ones we've seen so far this month, I'm. I'm yeah, I we need I need to take a different trajectory now. Come back up to where we started because it kind of has done this for me now. I'd like to get back up. Oh, you liked it better than pizza though. But what if we had them back to back. Yeah, but you liked it better than pizza. Not that much. You didn't like it better than pizza. Not that much. Yeah, you're crazy. Anyways, let us know what the next spooky film of the month should be down below. Please make it spooky. <laughs> Your expectations are way too high for it's true. It's Indian like, horror. Films. It's like when I wake up in the try, morning, try, try, I, try. I expect the sun to be shining. That's a weird thing. <laughs> you have to know where the the country is at in terms of a certain genre. Yeah, you can't just have your expectations at. I can't even think of the scary film. Like Get Out. <laughs> you can't have your expectations there, they especially weren't. for 1992. Well, that's not what they were. Anyways, yeah. let us know what the next spooky <laughs> film of the month should be down below. Down below.